Yet another new development is proposed for Sarasota. This time, the construction is slated for the new town area. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates joins us now with the details of that project. Bo Beth? Well, those looking for affordable housing in Sarasota have traditionally had a tough time finding it. But there's a new proposal aiming to provide another option. It was very difficult when we were first looking, and I live with three other people. Recent college graduate Hedda Cooper says from freshman year to now, finding affordable housing in the Sarasota area has been near to impossible. And if it wasn't for her roommates, the already difficult situation would be worse. That's pretty much the only way that um, we are all able to make our way right now is by um, all living together and sharing rent in the house. A company called Student Accommodation Services LLC hopes to solve the problem, submitting a proposal to build 20 new apartments on the site of an abandoned warehouse on the 3400 block of Central Avenue. And some who live near the proposed site say they're open to the new development. I think that it'd be a good idea for the community. We need more build up around here. Longtime Newtown resident Joseph Hunter says the site has been abandoned for about 10 years and he hopes the new development will bring new life to the area. When I was a little boy, I remember that being a battery, like a battery place that you used to go to and take your cars to get fixed and change the batteries out and stuff. But the site's history has raised concerns for city officials who worry about possible land contamination. And there's another concern. It's the uh, continuation of this gentrification and, and uh, just how much of this are we going to see and do we get to a slowing of this. But while some worry the influx of people in the Newtown community could eventually displace current residents, others are focused on the potential benefits of new housing. For four buildings with 20 apartments, that will range from 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, as well as a pool and parking. So I'm hoping that this will actually serve the uh, community that has been living here for a while. Now, city officials will be reviewing the developer's application on July 20th.